thing you may not know about me is that I'm a co-founder and the chief executive of a charity that works across the Humber. And as part of what we do, we have a round-the-world racing yacht. The organisation is called the Cat Zero. And Cat Zero is the Category Zero registration of a vessel that has no navigational limits. So this is a super safe round-the-world racing yacht that has the navigation capacity and all the safety equipment to go anywhere around the world. It weighs 50 ton, it's steel, and it's about 95 foot mast I think it is, and it's 72 foot long. And what I want to talk about this time is this, the EcoFlow River Pro and EcoFlow's waterproof solar panels which are perfect for the marine industry and leisure vessels. Um, there's very few portable solar panels that actually are like this that you can use on boats because this is completely waterproof and uh, I'll put a card up above about me testing it in a river to show how waterproof it is. But um, this is a, an amazing boat. Um, we use this with children, young people and families and veterans and we use it as a development tool and we also use it commercially with companies as team building and uh, around their personal development as well. Let's have a look downstairs and I'll show you more around the boat. So it's quite spacious down here and well laid out. So this boat is actually designed and was designed to race around the world the wrong way into the wind. There's a great companion area around there where everybody can have the meals and sit down and have discussions, which is brilliant for our development tools. Really comfy setup and quite different to what you'd probably expect in a racing yacht. This is a very heavy um, steel boat designed for comfort but also to uh, pound its way against the wind around the world. The cooker's on a gimbal. It's very similar to a camper van, really, if you think about it. Under the floor here, we have a water maker, so this actually takes salt water and converts it into fresh water. And then underneath the floor as well there's massive fuel tanks in here is all the safety equipment all the life jackets and uh, all the fuel tank access these are the bunks it can carry up to 17 people and we usually work on a four hours on four hours off watch system 24 hours a day these are remarkably comfortable these bunks um, and uh, you you really do need to get your sleep when you work in a four hour watch system in this cupboard here is where the generator would be and we're planning to replace that generator and look at operating our electrical system for lithium. Obviously more efficient. And in there it's a little bit dark but there's a massive Perkin 6 diesel engine that pushes this along quite nicely. That's recently been completely rebuilt and reconditioned. We'll look through here and we have a full professional crew that sail this although everybody who comes on board helps to sail it the professional crew have quarters up here and there's maritime law of how many hours they can work so they have separate bunks so they can get some sleep when needed toilets showers or heads of the cold on a boat and this is the front locker which has got watertight door on here but this is where we keep all our sails and the extra ropes and fenders and just about everything we need different types of sails the uh, there's a small inflatable boat and an outboard motor for that and that lives in there so this is what it looks like on a x chabe live round the world racing yacht and we keep this at category zero because we want the highest standards possible for safety when we're taking children, young people, families, veterans, private punters, whoever sails with us, we want the highest safety standards possible and uh, we keep it at that level. On here is where the skipper will do all the navigation, all the safety checks. And this is electronic charts. This double backup system there and in here are all the paper charts so there's a backup in relation to paper charts and logging where we are then there's basically two of everything VHF radios there's a radar on board depth sounders there's a scanning system that scans for other vessels and we electronically pinpointed on a electronic map electronic chart so people know where we are and everything is doubled so there's a backup of everything 
And this is where you switch everything on. All the systems are monitored and switched on here. But this all currently runs off lead acid batteries and we're looking to change those for lithium. But in the interim, we, uh, we think it's a good idea to have a backup power system on board. And something like this or one of the bigger units would have, be ideal for this. This is portable, it's easy to grab, it's easy to move around. Lots of USB charges on here. A good old uh, cigarette socket charging unit on there. And of course, two three pin um, power supply units. And this also has a unit on here where you can plug a cable in, and link it up to a backup battery so you can double its capacity. So not hard to store. Um, storage is a, is a um, can be an issue on a boat, but uh, this is nice and easy to look after and it can be put away in case it's needed and hopefully it'll never be needed. But as a backup system, the computers can be plugged into this. It's a very safe um, power supply for the alternating current, the AC side of this, so it's safe to use on the electronic equipment. And the 12 volt side can be run off these and we can charge phones, we can run the uh, sat phone off it or anything else we need. So very unlikely we'd need it, but a fantastic backup to be used on a yacht or any boat. So if, you, if you're a boat owner and you're thinking about backup systems, this is a brilliant example of what you can use. This isn't waterproof and there are very few power packs, solar generators that are waterproof. But um, the solar panel that I showed you on the deck is completely waterproof. And that is quite unique for portable solar panels. So that is an ideal type of solar panel to be able to be used on a boat of this size. I'll put all the specifications and any information I have in the description below. And uh, I'll also put a link to the EcoFlow website. This is an EcoFlow River Pro. And the good thing about this is it can be charged um, almost up to 100% in about two hours, which is fantastic. And it gets up to about 80% charge in an hour, which is incredible. So we can charge this up where we're linked to shore power as we are at the moment. And then if we need it while we're out sailing, we can actually plug it into the system and use it as part of the backup. I used to be a coxswain on a lifeboat uh, up here on the Humber. And I did that for seven years and I did nearly 700 call outs and varying things. Um, but we went to lots of boats and uh, as you can imagine, boats don't max mix well with electrics when you're, you've are you got water around and particularly when you've got salt water around. So you end up with lots of electrical problems. Just little fishing boats going out or power boat cruisers or even sailing boats where the, the power systems fail, the connections have got corroded, it's got water in some way and your, your power system suddenly fails. But as part of that power system failing, you usually lose your communication so you'll you lose your GPS. You won't know your exact position unless you're familiar to the area. And uh, you'll also um, potentially lose the power to your VHF if that's wired into the system. So as a backup, having these type of power pack, packs on your boat of any size um, will be really, really useful as a backup as part of that. And you just don't see them as much. You see lots, as I do, videos about power packs and power supplies in camper vans. But there's a full marine industry out there and lots of people with boats that would really benefit from having one of these units. These are the massive batteries we have in here. And although weight's not particularly a problem, these are old fashioned lead acid AGM batteries. And um, we would love to replace those at some point. They work okay and they do the job, but they're just not efficient. And having the insight into how modern batteries work, it would just be so more efficient and better for this vessel if we replace them. Boats are just basically like camper vans, but on water. And it's the same sort of principles of the things you have on board and what makes them comfortable. If people if people are interested in actually sailing on this vessel, we do do corporate sales, we do team building exercises, or you can actually book a place on a race. We race around the Isle of Wight, the Isle of Wight race. We do the Fastnet race every two years, and we also do a race 
well not a race, a sail across to Holland and back. And we can accommodate groups or individuals, but I'll put a link down to Cat Zero's website below. And if you're interested in anything we do, or getting involved, or want to book a sail or find out about um, having a voyage on this vessel, just check out the description below and uh, give the office a call or drop in an email. They'll be more than happy to help you. Quick look on the deck. Everything on here, there's lots of stuff on here, but everything has a job. And these vessels are actually designed super strong because they're basically designed to sail around the wrong way around the world against the wind. As Cherb Lab was the first person to do that, single-handedly non-stop. And this was part of the Cherb Lab fleet that uh, was used to fund paying punters to actually take a race around the world and I think 12 or 13 of these boats um, to have a go at the experience. Very similar to Clip Adventures and Sir Robin Knox Johnson. And Sir Robin is uh, our patron at Cat Zero and a very big supporter of ours. And he was the first person to sail single-handedly around the world with the wind, non-stop unsupported. So that's it for that video. Um, short one, somewhat completely different. Um, just thought I'd show you around the boat and uh, hopefully um, let people know that these power packs and certainly that EcoFlow uh, solar panel is waterproof and suitable for marine use. But EcoFlow, as I say, have a big library of different size power units of all different sizes and you can use them for a multitude of things. But I just wanted to give an insight after all those years of uh, going to vessels that have had electrical problems, this would be an ideal solution to stop that happening. Hope you enjoyed the video. There will be a question that, has Louis ever been on that? Or Rosie ever been on that? There are whippets if you don't know. Louis has been on here, and Louis used to work at Cat Zero, and he used to be the therapy dog there. And there is a previous video um, about that, which I'll put a link in, in the description below, or I'll try to put a card up here for you as well. But Rosie's not been on here yet. Rosie has, uh, Louis has not sailed on this, but he has sailed on our little sailing boat and he also did um, a week on the Caledonian Canal on a Flybridge cruiser and uh, totally loved it. So whippets can sail. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Take care and we'll see you on the next one.